So one, one thing I'd love to add before we jump into boundaries and consent is around, yeah, really giving ourselves permission to have desires. We live in, in a world where that's been quite distorted and, and I think often it seems that if we allow ourselves to have desires, there's some expectation that that must happen. But especially with, with lovemaking and connection, it's beautiful to actually feel into our bodies what experiences and that we, we're yearning to have and expressing those, but without the, without the expectation that that person has to fulfill that. It's starting to really just give ourselves permission and express from that space of vulnerability mm -hmm. and see also how we can meet those own desires within ourselves. And then, yeah, if we are meeting others that can potentially engage with us in that way, that that's just a bonus, but we're not kind of grasping to that these things need to happen. That's a really good point. And if your partner comes to you and is like, I'm desiring X, Y, Z, for example, I've been thinking about um, how wonderful it would be to bring someone else into this relationship and have a threesome. If your partner comes to you with that, first honoring them mm. for like expressing mm. that that's something that they're thinking about and desiring, but not feeling like you have to give that to your partner yeah. because they have done that but really like you know being like thank you for thank you for expressing that I know that takes a lot you know and I really honor you for expressing that and then taking time to feel into what's right as your response not rushing into like yeah we can do it yeah. because they want it so it's so easy to, to shame someone in that moment. You know, if we feel triggered and we're like, how could you want to bring someone else in or do that thing or, you know, whatever it might be. Yeah. It's really easy to shut that person down. And we live in this culture of so much shame and guilt around our sexuality that it's really easy in that little moment, even if energetically we kind of like pounce on them mm. for them to just fully shut down that space that's actually really vulnerably expressed something. So, yes, exactly as you said, like really honoring your partner and honoring yourself when you do come to the table with some desire and then releasing that expectation it needs to happen and giving that person or yourself the permission to say like all right I'm gonna just like feel into that and I'll get back to you. Mm -hmm.